All right, uh, let's try to prove the fundamental theorem of calculus, part one. Here's the statement. The derivative with respect to x of integral from a to x, f of t dt, is equal to f of x. Intuitively, uh, what it's saying is that, that if you apply antiderivative to a function, then apply derivative, then antiderivative and the derivative basically cancel each other out so that uh, you are left with the original function f of x. All right, so uh, let's try to prove this. I'm looking at the three values, the minimum value, the average value, and the maximum value of the function f over the closed interval from x to x plus h. Let's look at the minimum value. Here, I'm assuming that the function f is continuous. We know that the minimum value is obtained at some point on that interval. Let's call it that t sub h. So the minimum value is equal to f of t sub h. The average value of the function can be found by integrating over the interval, then divide by the length of the interval. So we have this formula here. The maximum value is the same. A maximum get value can be obtained at some point, let's say capital T sub H. So maximum value is equal to F of capital T sub H. All right. So what happens to these values uh, as the H approaches zero? Let's look at the minimum value. F of T sub H approaches F of X. Since T sub H approaches X, because t sub h has to be between x and x plus h, and h is approaching 0, right? You can say the same thing about the maximum. f of capital T sub h approaches f of x, since capital T sub h approaches x, right? We know that the average value is always between the minimum value and the maximum value, we can use the squeeze theorem to conclude that the average value is going to approach f of x as well by squeeze theorem, right? Once we've done that, that we can prove the fundamental theorem calculus here. All right, so let's start with the left-hand side of this statement. Derivative with respect to x of integral from a to x, f of t dt. Using the uh, limit definition, we have the limit as h approaches 0. Integral from a to x plus h, f of t dt, minus integral from a to x, f of t dt, all over h. By combining the top two integrals together, we have limit as h approaches 0. Integral from x to x plus h, f of t dt, all over h. But you can see that, that this is the limit of the average function value as h approaches 0, which already established that, that it's going to approach f of x. Therefore, the derivative with respect to x of integral from a to x, f of t dt, is equal to f of x, which is called the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, Part 1. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.